I really almost didn't believe it at all when I saw your name. But I guess that you'll be working under me from now on. And I just want you to know that I saw you trying to flirt with some of the girls in the office. I just want you to know that as your boss, I can't allow you to do that. It's only your first day, after all. Oh, hello, Hank. I'm sorry. But I think you might be misunderstanding the situation. I wasn't flirting with anyone at all. I was just asking a few questions about what it's like to work here. And other job-related things. Excuse me? Are you trying to tell me that I'm wrong after I saw what happened with my own eyes? I saw your face the whole time while you were talking to Sheila. You looked like a kid in a candy store about to get a treat. I really think that wasn't the case. And I'm not quite sure why you're so upset just because I was talking to a female co-worker. More than that, I just can't believe that you hit me while we were at work for doing that. If you really don't believe me, ask Sheila yourself. I hit you because you were trying to flirt with Sheila and she's mine. How dare you even look at her with those beady little eyes of yours! I know the game that you were trying to play with her. I'm sorry Hank, but even if I was smiling during our conversation, I don't think that says nearly as much about my intentions as you think. But I really think you should go and ask Sheila yourself if you don't believe what I'm trying to tell you. I'm not going to waste my precious time doing something as stupid as that. Just see, the way you looked at her was enough to convince me of all that I needed to know. I just hope that you've learned your lesson after I hit you. But I would be more than happy to do it again if you haven't. I really don't think that you should be violent in the office at all. Ever. I mean, is this how you treat all your employees? I treat everyone with fairness and equality! As soon as they learn to be good employees. So I just hope that you've learned your lesson from all this. And that's why you did what you did to me? That's right! I only got to where I am in this company by running a tight ship! And that means making sure that all my staff knows to obey me. I see. Well, I have to say, this is the first time I've run into someone with your specific type of management style. I guess you could say it's a pretty well-kept secret around these parts. But that's how I got this job here at our company's HQ. And just what about you? Surely you must have at least gone to some really fancy school if they're letting someone like you work here. Oh, no. I actually didn't ever go to college. Wait, hold on. You mean you stopped going to school after high school? Oh, come on. You can't be serious about that, right? Actually, I never even graduated high school technically. I just have my GED. Wait, what? What the heck are they thinking upstairs? How could they let some little nobody who only has his GED into a company like ours? I would laugh if it wasn't just so darn sad. And why did I end up having to get you on my team? Sorry, I really think there must be some kind of misunderstanding here, Hank. No, Dean. I don't think there's been any mistake. I think that it's obvious that you were sent to work under me so that I can whip you into being a good employee. I'm going to fill that empty little head of yours up with all the information you need to contribute to around here. And every time you fail, or don't do as I say, I'll hit you again. So you better bring some ice packs with you when you come to work now. <laughs> I really don't think that you should be hitting me at all. Why is that the first method of punishment that you resort to anyways? As if some tiny little brain nobody like you could understand the reason for why I do what I do. Not only did I go to college, but it was a really good one too. Doesn't that just make you feel like you're in good hands, Dean? Look, I'm really sorry, but I just don't think that I can abide any kind of violence in the office. So please don't treat your employees like that from now on, okay? Excuse me? Are you trying to give me an order right now? Well, you just earned yourself a punishment, Dean. I'll be sure to dole it out the next time that I see you. We'll see about that. Dean, are you okay? I can't believe what happened earlier. I mean, I would have never guessed that Hank would have hit you. Hey, Sheila. I really am fine. Thank you so much for asking, though. I appreciate it. No, I mean, 
I'm so sorry. I just froze up and was so scared when Hank showed up. I couldn't even do anything to stop him. You don't need to blame yourself at all. But I'm wondering, is Hank always like that? He was messaging me earlier and told me that he hits the other employees as well to train them. Does he really do stuff like that around here all the time? Well, there are certainly a bunch of really bad rumors concerning Hank that are always flying around. And most of them do have to do with him getting upset at males who work under him and then hitting them. But everyone is too scared to push back because they don't want to get in trouble or end up losing their jobs. Are you serious? But that's a crime. Hank shouldn't be doing that at all. Why doesn't anyone say anything about this? I guess that Hank just knows how to exploit people's weaknesses and make it so that they don't disobey him. There's one rumor that even says that Hank has dirt on everyone in the office, and that's how he gets people to do what he says. Well, if that was really true, then why not call corporate and ask them to open an investigation? An investigation? You can do that? If I'm being honest with you, that's one of the reasons why I was transferred here. The rumors aren't just in the office. They've spread far enough that corporate decided that something needed to be done. So I understand that he punches his male staff. But what about the women? Are they okay? Well, I certainly can't say that we're all doing just fine working under Hank. So he does abuse his power over the women too. May I ask what kinds of things he typically does? I'm sorry, Dean, but you just started working here. I don't know if I can just come out and say everything to you. It's okay, Sheila. I really was sent by corporate to investigate what's going on in this office. You can talk to me, I promise. Is Hank threatening the women like he is the men? No, no, it's nothing like that at all. It's just... Oh, it's a little embarrassing is all. You could tell me as little as you want, but it would be really helpful if I at least had some information to start from for my work. I just... I'm really not trying to make this about me or anything like that, but... I think that Hank has a crush on me, and he's always trying to find excuses to talk to me. Mostly alone. I see. So he's harassing you then. It is true that while he was talking to me, he said that the main reason he hit me was for talking with you. I guess he thought that I was flirting with you. Did Hank really say that about you? So has he done anything else? If he's done something serious, it's best to come forward with it now so that we don't waste any time punishing him. Hmm. Well, okay. I just... maybe texting all of this isn't the best way to go about this. Oh, sure. Well, if you'd prefer, I could call you and we could talk about it over the phone. Yeah, let's do that, please. Hey, Dean! Where are you right now, you slacker? You ought to be working! It's still your first day and you're already... Finding ways to get out of working? Or did you just get so scared of me that you ran away and quit? It was a bit rude of you not to even say goodbye to me on your way out. Hello there, Hank. No, I haven't quit, actually. Oh, really? Then what? You're just walking around the office, pretending like you own the place or something. You're really starting to piss me off. You know that? Do I need to go and punish you again? And just why do you think that you could talk to other people like that? Don't you realize how threatening that sounds? I really don't think that we should be hiring people like you at our company. Excuse me? You've got some real nerve talking to your supervisor like that. Don't you know who I am? I know that you're the department chief. You do know that this isn't even my first day here, right? I did try and come and greet you on my first day, but you were away from your office. Well, you seem to have done your homework about who's who around the office, huh? That's right. Although I said that you're the department chief. It may be more accurate to say that you were the department chief. It just what is that supposed to mean? Are you trying to run some kind of scam on me or something? What are you trying to pull talking to your boss like this? Because if you think that I will fire you right now for insubordination, then you're dead wrong. I'm sorry, but why is it that you think I'm working under you? What are you talking about this time? What is it with this nonsense? I'm just trying to tell you that I don't work under you. You work under me. I'm Dean Thomas, sent from the corporate office. I was sent here to investigate claims that you were being violent with your staff. Wait, what? No way! You think I'm going to believe that? That's rich, though. You almost had me! 
but I'm not that type of person to scare so easily. I'm very sorry if something I said might have scared you. I'm only telling you the truth, though. And I am afraid that we are going to have to let you go. You're still going to try this act with me? It's just why would I be fired anyways? I haven't done anything wrong! You mean you don't consider assaulting your employees wrong? Well, I'm sorry, but I've already made a report to the police. Oh, I'm so scared. You really want to tell the cops because you were upset that your boss is a little mean to you? You don't even have any proof that I have done anything. So good luck proving anything. Actually, I have plenty of proof, thank you very much. After all, you admitted to hitting me in our messages before, didn't you? I took screenshots of our conversations and used that when I reported you to the police. Wait, what? Are you serious? You showed them screenshots of our conversations? That's right, so they saw what you were saying to me. But that isn't fair! I was only trying to protect Sheila from you! I saw how uncomfortable you were making her, and that's why I stepped in to save her. So how could you say I did something wrong when that's all I was doing? Right, about that. You do know that you're the one who was always creeping Sheila out, right? So I really don't think she appreciated your efforts. Wait, what? I creep her out? But that can't be! In fact, it seems like this isn't the first time you've hit another employee just for talking to Sheila. You seem to have this strange complex where you think you can get her to like you by acting violent around her. Just who do you think you are talking to me like that? Don't you know who I am? I do know exactly who you are. You are my subordinate. Or should I say, former subordinate. You can't be serious, right? You're not really firing me, are you? I told you time and time again just how serious I am about this. I think you'll be hearing from your direct supervisor soon enough. I've already sent an email laying out my report on you with all the evidence I've collected. I don't think it's going to be a very long conversation when you do hear from them, though. I don't believe this! You're really going to have me fired? But that isn't fair! I really am going to have you fired, yes. How many times do I have to repeat myself? Oh no. My boss is calling me right now! Oh crap, what should I do? This is really bad! It is bad, for you. And if you want anyone to blame, I'm afraid that you still only have yourself. There's no way to get out of what's going to happen. But how can you do this? How are you even above me in a company when you only have a GED? There's definitely something up. What aren't you telling me? Oh right, I guess I should have been more clear. I did only get my GED here in the States. But years later, I applied to go to a college overseas and I got my degree in Germany. Wait, you went to school overseas? That's right, although I know there are some questions over how well degrees transfer over to the US. So I just tell people that I didn't go to college. Although if they start getting really curious, I explain to them the whole story. And just what was it that you learned from your college days, Hank? Well, I learned a lot! I see, because in Germany, I was able to study what I wanted while experiencing a very different culture. In fact, not only did I go to college there, I even got my master's from there. Even I don't have a master's degree. I don't even know what to say. Well, it's not really such of a big deal. It's all just pieces of paper at the end of the day. But yes, I suppose if you want to get technical though, I am more educated than you. But even that doesn't excuse the way you've hit your employees and harassed the women in your office. What are you talking about this time? Well, Sheila told me about all the times about how you're always trying to get her to go out with you. It was honestly painful to hear just how uncomfortable it was making her. Even I felt bad. But she just told you that, right? It's still just hearsay, isn't it? I'm afraid that it got so bad that Sheila felt like she had to start recording these episodes. So there is audio of it happening. Not only that, but we caught on video doing more than just asking Sheila on dates. There's video evidence of you calling her into your office and doing... Well, I don't think I need to go into detail. But I thought she wanted it! Watching any video of it makes it clear that that isn't the case. Honestly, just thinking about it makes me sick. I don't believe this! My whole life is just falling apart! And on top of that, you kept everyone else so scared of you with violence and threats? I just refuse to keep you around here anymore. You're just a terrible person. 
We've put out a notification to the whole office explaining that you're being fired, and that the office is willing to pay for any therapy services that might be necessary once you're gone. So then everyone knows what I've been doing now. That's right, although they all already have enough reason to hate you. There's no point in trying to play the victim card now. We'll get the paperwork in order and have you out of here as soon as you can. Then the police can have you. In the end, Hank got called up to his supervisor's office. However, he never showed up. It turned out that Hank tried to quickly embezzle money to his bank account and then flee town. He was caught at the airport before he can leave. Hank was such a horrible, condescending boss. But I'm glad that at least he'll finally get what he deserves. Ella! I heard that your father's life is in danger! Hi, Charlotte. Unfortunately, yes. The doctor said that he only has about a week left. Oh, wow, I am so sorry. Thank you for your concern. I'm sure my father will be pleased to hear this. He is rich, right? Are you going to get a good amount of inheritance? What? Oh, you don't need to hide anything. Your father is rich, so he has lots of savings, right? Why does it matter to you? You understand that you married my son, right? I'm your mother-in-law, so it's common sense for you to listen to me. About what? About the inheritance. My husband didn't leave any for me, so now it's my chance. You're talking about how it's your chance, but you're not going to even get a penny. Listen to me. You are going to take care of Justin and I from now on, so that means that the inheritance will be mine. Did you contact me because you wanted to ask about this and not about my dad? Are you serious? That's because I only met him once, so why should I worry about him? You are full of shit, Charlotte. Excuse me. Are you trying to pick a fight with me? What a fight? I'm just being honest here. I'm pretty sure anyone would feel the same way. You are so rude. Anyways, all I'm going to say is that you won't get a penny. If you have a problem with this, why don't you talk to Justin about it? Oh, don't be so cocky. You're the one that's being cocky. Oh, you know what? You're pissing me off. Yeah, whatever. I need to go back to my dad's hospital room now, so please go talk to Justin. Can you explain to me about the inheritance again? My mom is misunderstanding something. Yeah, I've been getting weird texts from her. I'm not surprised she's still thinking that she's getting the inheritance. I'm so sorry about this, Ella. It's okay. I'm actually glad that you're not like her. And also, it's my dad's decision to choose who is getting the inheritance. Yeah, of course. I look up to your father, and I care more about the fact that he's letting me run his business. Let's hope for his recovery, because there's no way I can take over right now. What's the matter with you? Didn't we promise to work things out together? I wish that my dad will get better, but make him happy taking over the company. I agree with you. we Will do. Anyways, can you explain everything to your mom before it's too late? When are you going to send me the inheritance? Hurry up! Do you not know what you've done during the funeral? Um, nothing? You were laughing and cheering his death during the funeral in front of our whole family who was crying. You're a piece of shit. Oh, come on, don't be rude. Who's the rude one here? You know what? I don't want to see your face ever again. Do you want Justin to divorce you? Are you threatening me? Didn't Justin talk to you about this? Oh, who cares about that? It's going to be a problem if you don't deposit money to my account because I have used quite a lot. On what? Well, I went on a shopping spree and bought a house. A house? <laughs> Are you serious? Just deposit to my account, damn it! Won't do, because you did something unforgivable. Ugh, are you still pissed? Will you not be if I apologize? I am so sorry for cheering and laughing at the funeral. There, I apologized. Send it to me immediately. 
I actually just donated it all to charity. What? We donated all of it to organizations for underprivileged children. Charity? What are you talking about? What happened to my money? It's not your money. Plus, didn't I say that you're not even going to get a penny? You're joking, right? Why would I joke about it? I talked to my dad before he passed, and he said that you won't get any. Why did you donate without my permission? What will happen to my money then? I told you a million times already that you will not get any. Plus, I just said it's not your money, you self-centered old broad. I just wanted to live peacefully after retirement. Oh, why is this happening? I'm also in debt, so I need the money. Okay, and? Do you not understand what I said? I'm going to get endless calls from the debt collector. They might even show up at my house. Are you enjoying making me suffer? Um, this is all your fault, you know. Justin just told me that he's tired of you. Don't you guys want to help me? We're a family. No, we're not. We talked about you, actually, and agreed to cut ties. What? That's good for you because you don't need to see me anymore. How am I supposed to enjoy life from now on? I'm not getting money, plus my own son is going to cut ties with me. Why are you asking a stranger? I really don't care how you will end up. Excuse me? Don't you love me? I'm your mother-in-law. Do you think I can forgive a person who laughed and cheered during my dad's funeral? I already apologized about it. Oh, I have an idea. Why don't you donate to me, too? I'd rather use the money than donate it to you. Please help me. Don't leave me. I'm having a hard time since my husband passed, so if you two leave me, I'm screwed. Let me see. You talk down on me and lash out on me from the day I got married to Justin, and acting that way at my dad's funeral? I mean, who wants someone like you? Are you really going to leave me? Yes. Oh, we're actually going to be taking over my dad's company overseas, so we're going to be moving there. Overseas? Yes, so deal with everything by yourself, okay? Good luck! Bye! Since she spent too much money, she had to sell the house and ended up working a rather dangerous job. She tried to ask Justin for help, but couldn't reach him, so she has to work her butt off every day. On the other hand, we're developing overseas business while doing charitable work and living peacefully. Her life is not the way it turned out to be, but this is the result of her own actions. Karma is a bitch. Max, where are you? Mom asked if he could visit her today, but I think she just needs some excuse to have Chloe to set up with you. No way. I think she didn't mean it that way. She just wants me to meet her. Why do you have to be so pessimistic about everything? You do trust her easily. You know how she favors Chloe more than me? She never wanted me to even get married. Do you remember how she let Chloe to show up in a white gown in my wedding? True, but... Don't be so harsh on your mother. She cares for you. She told me that you deserve better, so I should bond well with your family to make you happy. See, we could never trust her. My family never loved me. I'm their unplanned child. They blame me for their every failure. Mom even blamed me for the death for failure she faced in her business. She would often berate me by saying I am unlucky. Oh dear, I know. You don't have to tell me how they treated you. But that was past. You should move on and show them how kind and forgiving you are. Yes, that's true. I can forgive them. But I can't forget those horrible memories. Those memories were my worst nightmare. Babe, let's focus more on our business. Things aren't going well, but it doesn't mean we can rest peacefully. Our projects lined up to deal with. We should invest money in them. Yeah, I know. We can discuss it with our team and sort out the projects to invest. But what about mom? What should I tell her? Don't worry about it. I'll go and visit your mom and Chloe. I'll try to fix the problem and we'll ask Kara to stop stressing out my beautiful wife. That's so sweet of you. 
but I know how to deal with them. Okay, so, bye. I'll visit Chloe first, and then your mom. Okay? Good evening, Adeline. How are you? Good evening, Mom. I'm great. So, Max came to my house, and we had a great chat. I learned that your business is doing well. Yes, Mom, Max is such a sweetheart. Even though I warned him of your manipulative nature, he chooses to respect his elders. But you should stop making Max to visit Chloe. You're always up to something every time. It is true that Max is such a sweetheart, and that is the only reason I always want him to marry Chloe. Anyway, Chloe's going through a rough time, and Max is great at cheering people up. Why could she be like Chloe? She never complains. Oh, come on! She never considered me as her sister. Comparing her with me is so offending. I am in all way better than her. Stop being so manipulative. I beg you, Mom. You shouldn't talk about her like that. I love her and won't tolerate any insults of her. Adeline, don't forget I adopted you when you were about to die. And have you forgotten your manners? It is always ma'am for you. No! I never forget that you helped me from that orphanage while I was about to die. But it's not that long time ago. Now I am married, mom. Why can't you accept me? Am I the intolerable to you? I need your love, mom. Ma'am is for strangers. I don't have time for your nonsense. Chloe called me and she wants some help. So, I asked Max to visit her. He will go home late for dinner. You blame me for everything wrong happened in your life. Now when Chloe's doing something wrong, how can you be so supportive? <sighs> I hate her. Still, you are her sister. It is your duty to give her anything she wants. <sighs> no, I'm not doing that. You and your daughter can daydream. Adeline, you are such a good girl. Listen to Mama. I know Max can never keep you happy. Chloe also loves Max. And you can build a new relationship again. They look great with each other. We can't find you another husband. <laughs> Do you think that will make her happy? To ruin a family to build your own. You want your favorite daughter to have a fate like you. Uh, shut up. How dare you talk to her like that. I never ruined anyone's family. Oh. We all know what you did. You seduced Chloe's dad when he was already married and was living a good life. Now, are you happy with him? We loved each other. I gave him freedom from his ugly, old wife. I gave him such a beautiful daughter. No one can be compared to Chloe. No one. <sighs> we will see what future holds. We will definitely see. I have work in the office. You don't have to stay awake for me. I got the dinner you sent me. It was great. Thought to make something special for you. You helped me a lot in these past few years. You even left your job to help me. But I don't think there's anything urgent to work overtime. No. It is you who made all these riches. I was just a helping hand. It is related to the projects and I want to invest it. Okay, so why Chloe wanted you to help with? Nothing. Just to assemble some furniture and we talked about how hard you're working these days. I asked her what is going on with her life. Like that only. Doesn't she have a boyfriend? You should not go to her house. I don't trust her. I don't understand why she can't be a little considerate and won't go after my husband. Today, only I had a huge fight with mom for this. I understand. I won't go, okay? I forgot to tell you. Mom texted me to convince you to give what my sister wants. Can you believe it? How could she do that to me? I am also her daughter. Chloe wants you. So, do I have to give you up too? She is quite stressed out nowadays. Cut her some slacks. She's going through a hard time. What happened? She didn't mention anything like that in the text. Chloe told me, your mother is going for a divorce. He caught Chloe's father with several women. So, she is fed up being at the receiving end. I am feeling sorry for your mom. I should call her to give her my condolences. No need. The way she set up traps for me some or other day, it was to come back to her. 
Don't be like that, Adeline. I think you, as an understanding woman who cares for everyone, we should support her. Chloe also told her father is going down. He's a verge of bankruptcy. That means your mother won't get much of alimony. I know, even though she doesn't like me, I am her daughter. I will try my best to support her. Honey, your mom got divorced. I am with them and will turn home late. Don't stay up for me. Yes, I don't care. They took 10,000 from me. Wait a minute. They? Who are they? Don't tell me Chloe's also there. I think you promised me to never see her. Ah, we're celebrating your mom's freedom. Don't be so grumpy. And can you pass a million dollar check for the project I'm investing on? I called my secretary to give her. She will deposit it in the bank. So, why am I not invited? And see, Max, the project is not going to give any profit. Why don't you work on the project our company's dealing? Why are you being so bossy? I always have to work under you. Yes, I have seen few failures, but that doesn't mean you know more than me. You lost 10 millions to it. I can't just issue check after check. Think about the future of our twins. Why you always forget that I'm pregnant? Why do you have to make things difficult? Just give the check. I know my responsibilities. You're always in different moods. I think you're intentionally making us apart. Chloe had once warned me. You always want to dominate the others. Chloe? You believe Chloe? She's the one who wants money. She never loved anyone, nor does she care. You know, she somehow managed to take everything from her boyfriend and make their life miserably. At least she listens. Max! Hello? Mom? Is Max with you? No. Why? What happened? We had a small fight and he's off somewhere. He's not picking up my calls and not even replying to my texts. Oh, don't worry, I think he is somewhere nice. He called me yesterday. He was fuming. He told me how you're being too petty. What can I do? He's wasting all the business money and his goods for nothing projects. Whatever, I don't want to know about your personal matters. But can you wire 5,000 to your sister? She is planning to go somewhere nice. I can't fund her like this. She should stop being a gold digger and should start working. She just loves money. You see, that is how you lose people. If you won't care for others, the devil will care for you. Your business is doing great, so you should help out others. Poor Max. Wants to do something on his own. You should support him. Uh, okay, fine. I will wire money to both Max and Chloe. I can't take any stress. I don't want my babies to suffer like you made me. I am not your mother. And I'm not going to your cheap baby shower, but Chloe... My sweet girl, we'll go. You treat her right. And that's it for now. I have an appointment in the salon. Bye. How was your vacation? It was so good. I can't describe. We had fun together. We? Who else went with you? That's none of your business. What do you want? Nothing. I heard from my assistant that Max went to Maldives too. Did you happen to meet him? Oh yes, I was so happy to see him. I don't worry, I took proper care of him. He was reluctant whether to spend time with me. But you know, no one can resist me. Please, Chloe, tell me the truth. You are my sister. How can you seduce my husband like that? I was just joking. Gosh, you can't take jokes lightly. And that is your problem. You're so serious about your business that you forgot to enjoy and have fun. You know that I went through a delivery just 15 days ago. I never asked you anything but be a little considerate to me. Stop putting poison in my mind. Even though Max went on a business trip, he will never try to cheat on me. <sighs> Whatever. I will come today in the evening to visit you. I will be happy if you come. I miss my family. No one was with me during this pregnancy, but do come and visit. When will he be home? I'm losing my mind here. Just come here so we can solve the things if we have a good conversation. I just came from home, Adeline. 
you were at the hospital for checkups, so I thought not to bother you. I'm also tired from the journey, but I have some work to finish first. So, how did your project go? Hope you'll finally give some good news. It didn't even stay with me while I gave birth to both of your sons. Do you know how much I needed you here? I miss you so much. I'm so sorry, love. From now on, I won't miss anything. Please, forgive me. Do you enjoy your stay in Maldives? And did you meet someone there? You know, someone familiar, many people we know, live there. No? Who, what? Why? No, I hardly had any time to eat. Trust me, God knows how I spent 15 days there. Yes, I can do nothing but trust you. Even though you prefer not to share anything, but I will trust you. Thanks, love. Now, take rest. I'll be back soon. I can't come to the hospital. I just made an appointment with someone. Okay, fine. But can he ask mom to visit? No one came and I'm feeling lonely. Mom can come. She's busy. And she asked you to wire me 10,000. I need to buy something. Why don't you find a job or get married? You will have a happy life and have money also. Aren't you fed up with cheating every other man you meet? Look how happily Max and I are living. We trust and love each other. Because I allow him too. Enough, sister. Just because he's with you, it doesn't mean he loves you. What are you saying? We are engaged more than five years now. He recently gives me a house too. The money he takes from you is to give me. I am his true love. That's not true, Chloe. Please tell me this is all made up. Now that I spilled out the truth, why don't you give him divorce so that we can live happily? He's tired of you and wants to break free from you. He's mine now. Oh, yes. I have to meet up with my love. So I put on my best. Pisces. I don't believe you. I will trust Max only. He never ever will cheat on me. Never. Ma'am, we've booked an appointment with the lawyers. The team will visit you soon. And will give you a briefing about the trials and procedure. And about the property papers you asked for is ready. We just need everything to be submitted in the court. Yes, make sure everything's okay. I will use my everything to make them back on their knees. These one year I lived in a hell. They all betrayed me. My mom and sister thought Max owned everything in our business. But they were shocked when they knew the clause in the agreement paper. Yes, ma'am. Make sure Max doesn't have anything under his name. Remove all of his loans under the company's name. And deny all the payments. That way he has to pay his loans. And will think of selling his property. When he will find he has no property under his name. He will learn what wrong he has done. And don't let him know what we did behind his back. Let him think that the company is paying the loans. What the hell are you doing? Why the bank sends me a warning notice to pay the loans? All my loan was under the company names. What did you do? Is that so? I don't know anything. Didn't you thought of the situation before leaving the business and your family? Everything you brought was under the company's assets. So, now you have to pay the loans on your own. So, you're playing games with me. I won't let this go easily. I'm taking the kids with me, and you can't stop me. Now that nothing is in my power other than my children, I will take them and solely will take over the business some or other way. Don't do that! Don't you dare take my children! They are my babies! They need their mother. I don't care. Do whatever you want. I'm not giving them back. I will soon send you a paper to sign for our divorce. Make sure you sign them. Make sure to send money regularly. Or else... Or else what? You don't want my babies to starve, do you? How can a person change so quickly? You two-faced demon. Don't you let them starve. I will send money. I beg you to take care of them until I get them back. You keep your promise, and I'll keep mine. There are my babies too. I know how to take care of them. For now, bye. Ma'am, for now, let us send $5,800 until they give your kids back. 
I have arranged all the documents for the court. We will 100% win the custody for your children. Yes, make sure everything is okay. I'm shocked at how they are using my kids as their hostage to take over the company. San knows everything about the business. The clause still remains that in the case of separation, the parent who gets the custody of the children will own the business until the children turns 25. Ah, I know. Sam, hire a private investigator to dug up some dirt on Chloe. I need to prove how she's cheating on Max. I am pretty sure now that Max doesn't have any money, she's looking for her next spray. The bank called. They have seized the new house gifted to Chloe. They will release everything where the loans is fully paid. Good! I don't lie, you can't do this to your mother. I know whatever Chloe did was wrong, but kicking her out of the house isn't fair. Where were you when I was treated unfairly? All these years you never showed your face until you wanted money. You used me to enjoy the luxury you have today. Your sister betrayed me. After having your house taken over, she came to my house and told me to get out. I have nowhere to go. Please, help us last time. I am not that heartless. Stop begging. You can stay in the house, but I will have my babies at any cost. But only you can have access to the house. No one apart from you can enter the vicinity. Look, Adeline, you want the custody, but you still have to support your sister. She needs money to grow her family. You even took your revenge. Max have nothing to call his. Chloe doesn't even love Max anymore. A broken family can never grow. A family you and your daughter snatched from me will never work. I was beaming with happiness when I got the divorce from that Matt. He looked at me confused and was seething in anger. But I was happy that justice was delivered. You are such a ruthless woman. Shame on you. Yes, I am ruthless. So, from now on, you wouldn't have a place to live. I am old. Where will I go? You should know how your sister treat me. Don't take the house from us. I will forgive you someday, but I won't forget anything and will take these memories to my deathbed. Ma'am, I got some news for you. Our business gained a huge profit from the recent project. This is all due to your hard work. I can't believe how someone can manage so many things. This is all due to good people around us. Toxic people create toxic environment. These past years, I learned it in the hard way. Ma'am, about your vacation. You can finally make the trip to Disneyland. Really? I was looking forward to this day. Such a wonderful news. The twins will love it. Everything is set for now. You can take a break from all these pressures. You know how grateful I am to have you as an assistant and as a friend. How are you doing? How are babies? I miss them so much. What do you need now? I think you're happy with your wife. There's no place for you in our hearts. Don't tell like that I was so stupid. Chloe just wants money. He cheated on me with someone rich. I am all alone. So, did she have fun ruining us and giving hard temp to both me and my babies? Can't you forgive me and take me back? For what? To be cheated again? Actually, I have someone who truly cares for me. I found hope in him. Can we just begin things from the start? I promise he'll never leave you. Do you know how much my kids suffered because of this ordeal? I know. No, you don't. At such a small age, they have to face trials. They saw their parents getting separated. I have to send them for therapy sessions after that. I want my kids to be healthy as they deserve best. It was my fault, I admit, but your sister was so much manipulating. She blackmailed me that she was pregnant, and because of me, her miscarriage happened. I have no other way. Now I have no other way. I give my heart to this man. I am not like you. He helped me a lot to overcome all the grief. So, I can't leave such an amazing person. I will tie the knot soon. If you want, you can come, but I think it is better for us not to see each other. Have a good life. There is no life without family, even though it is late, but I wish I could turn back time and rectify my mistakes. Have a good life, Adeline. You deserve the world. I 
at the end, truth wins. I got married again with a beautiful man with a golden heart. He cared for the babies and helped me to overcome grief left by Max. My mother is some elder home where Chloe dumped her. Chloe's still chasing after rich men. She never settled down. Whenever she started a family, it broke. Max, he is somewhere far away and spending his days doing charity and working in a field. He doesn't want to marry again. And I'm living a happy and a healthy life. 